Hi, I'm Darlene with Digital Photo Mentor, and in this video tutorial, you'll get a quick tip on how to enhance your image quickly and easily in one step. Want to know how? The trick is twofold, using duplicate layers and layer blend modes. So let's not waste any time getting right to the tip. You'll notice that I have all of my tools collapsed because I'm not going to be using any of them. All we need to do to add some punch to this image of the duck is to duplicate the layer. Just press D on your keyboard and it will duplicate the layer. Any edits that you've done to the original will be also applied to this layer. As I haven't done any, literally this is the only thing I'm doing to this image. Now we have the blend modes and opacity to play with. If you want to add contrast to your image and give it more punch, choose one of the options in this section. When you hover over, you can see what it's going to look like with this blend mode applied. I'm going to go with hard light. It's a little bit over the top, but that's where the opacity slider comes in. You can dial it down a little bit to soften the effect. Let's close the layer properties and take a look at the before and after. So remember I said it was one step. All I did was to duplicate the layer and adjust the settings. That's it. We can also choose one in this section to darken an image that's too light. This one is okay, so I wouldn't apply it here. But if you want to darken the image, which also intensifies the colors and adds more saturation, use multiply blend mode, then adjust opacity to taste. You can also use the masking tool in the layer if you don't want this effect on certain things. For example, maybe I want this more on the background than I do on the duck himself. So I could use a radio gradient or object select to remove it from the duck like so. Now when I dial in the opacity, it's affecting the background more so. I would need to work with the mask a little bit more to refine the edges, but you get the idea. Let's look at another example. I find this stock image a little bit flat. There's a lot of light tones, but there's not a lot of deeper tones, which makes the color a bit softer and sort of faded out. I'd like to see if there's some blue in this chunk of ice. So let's do the same thing. If you're not familiar with the keyboard shortcuts, I'll provide a link for you in the description area below to download my free PDF Luminar Neo keyboard shortcuts. Print it out and have it handy when you're editing. Until you're familiar with the shortcuts, you can also use the mouse. Just right click on the layer and choose duplicate. I'd like to add more punch here, so I'm going to go straight down to this section. Overlay, soft light, and hard light all do a really great job. Notice the opacity is at 100% here, and you can see that there is indeed more color to be found in this chunk of ice. And as usual, if I don't want it on the background so much, I can use object select and make sure that it's only on the iceberg and potentially the foreground, like so. Maybe just brush in the water to blend it a little bit better. There we go. Now when we look at the before and after, look at the amazing change with just one tool, layers. Layers are definitely your friend in the photo editing world, but they can also be really confusing to learn. Not to worry though, help is available. Before I continue, I just want to let you know that our Luminar Neo course has been completely redone for 2025. It includes all of the new tools that have been added to Luminar Neo since the very beginning of its inception three years ago. Currently, you can save 30% off when you buy the course before July 13th. If you're watching this video and it's after that date, Check the description area below for a coupon that you can use instead to get 20% off. So without further ado, let's get back to the tutorial. I have one more example to show you and then something that you need to be aware of when you're using this technique. Let's duplicate the layer once more. 
And this time, let's try a different kind of blend mode, one in this section, screen. Notice it's intensifying the fog. Lighten and screen will do just that. So if you want your image to be more light and airy, head to this section of the blend modes. Of course, if you want to intensify the color and darken things, you could try multiply. Or if you want more contrast, try one in this section. Once again, just a reminder that when you're adding contrast, you're also adding saturation to the color. So if you want that, great. If not, dial it back a little bit. I'm gonna go a little more intense with this one just to show you what to watch out for. If you like to copy and paste your settings from one image to another or sync with several images at once, you may think, aha, I could just make a preset and apply this technique anywhere I want. Well, let's see how that works. Let's go back to the catalog and I'm just going to copy the settings here. The keyboard shortcut for that is Command or Control C, just as you would if you're using Microsoft Word or any kind of document editor. Now let's go to the dock and paste the same settings onto the image of the dock. Oops, what do you notice? Well, it copied everything, that's for sure, but when it did the duplicate layer, you'll notice, if I change this to multiply, it's the image of the foggy scene where I copied the settings from. So when you do copy and paste on any image with a layer, unfortunately, it doesn't know to duplicate the new image. It copies the original image as a new layer on the one you're pasting it to. So this one cannot be used for syncing or making a preset, which is really unfortunate. I'm hoping this is something Skylum will address in a future update to Luminar Neo. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Then you won't miss any of the new videos that I release. There's always more coming. If you'd like to watch another video tutorial here on YouTube, click one on the screen now. Until next time, keep practicing with those layers and remember to check out my Luminar Neo course.